good. Throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. This shuttle mission will launch, my God. One minute, 15 There's seconds. been an explosion. Velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. This is not standard. This is not something that is planned, of course. I can see a solid rocket booster has broken away from Shuttle Challenger. That's what you're looking at in the middle of your screen. I cannot see the shuttle itself. I don't know if it's able to continue on one rocket booster. If it's able to jettison that rocket booster, it will be able to return to the Kennedy Space Center, perhaps. The shuttle engines are not enough to power the shuttle back down. Flight have to shut down. looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. I hope they were able to survive. I hope the we astronauts have no downlink. We have absolutely no sign at all of the shuttle itself. All we saw was that one explosion only about a minute into the flight. And we saw the solid rocket booster. Now here's something coming down. I don't know what that is. I don't think that that's the shuttle. I believe that's a piece of debris that's coming back earthbound. I don't know. It's too small for the shuttle itself. Pieces falling out of the sky in the Florida morning. It's about 20 till noon in Florida. There are contingency plans for the shuttle when something does go wrong, when something goes terribly we wrong. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. 8.40, and we hear from launch control, the vehicle has exploded. That's the orbiter itself, the shuttle Challenger, has exploded. We Contingency must procedures are in effect. Uh, assume that the crew is not alive. This is unheralded in the history of the space program.